Here are some more rules or properties of exponents that you should know. If we're given a to the m over n power, where the exponent is a fraction, then we change that into nth root of a all to the m power. Notice the denominator is going to be the root portion, and the numerator is going to be the power portion at the end. We could also rewrite a to the m over n power as nth root of a to the m power, where the m is inside the root, meaning the m outside, whether it's inside or outside, it gives us the same result. Here's an example. If we have 27 to the 2 thirds power, we could change that into cube root of 27, and then take the whole thing to the second power, where cube root of 27 is 3, and of course, 3 squared is 9. Here's a second example, 8 to the 2 over 6 power. For this one, we should go ahead and reduce the 2 over 6 into 1 over 3, where 8 to the 1 third power will be cube root of 8 all to the 1 power. However, that 1 doesn't affect anything because anything to the 1 power is always itself. So we could just go ahead and simply rewrite this as cube root of 8, which of course is Two. Here's our second rule. Anything to the zero power is one. Meaning, if we have nine to the zero power, it equals one. And if we have two to the fifth times two cubed, as long as they're all inside the parentheses to the zero power, this whole thing will always equal one. Here's our third rule. If we have a to the negative one power, meaning a negative exponent, we change that a to the negative one power into one over a. And that's because reciprocal of a is one over a. For example, if we have six to the negative one power, that's going to equal one over six. Variation of a to the negative one power is a over b to the negative one power. When we're given negative one power here, all we have to do is take what's inside the parentheses and flip it upside down or take the reciprocal of it, which is b over a. For example, if we have two over five to the negative one power, it's simply five over two. Here's some basic and not so basic properties of exponents that you must know. First, when you're given a to the m power times a to the n power, then it's going to equal a to the m plus n. As you can see, you add the exponents. For example, if you have y to the fifth times y squared, that's going to equal y to the 5 plus 2 or y to the seventh power. If we have 6 times x to the fifth, times 3x to the fifth, this is where you must go ahead and multiply the numbers first, which will be 18, and then we'll go ahead and multiply x to the fifth times x to the fifth, where it's going to be x to the tenth power, where we add the exponents. Here's the second rule. If you have a to the m all to the n power, meaning exponent, to an exponent, we multiply. So it's going to be a to the m times n power. If we have y to the third, all to the sixth, notice the parentheses, this is where we're going to multiply the exponents, meaning three times six. Here's another one. When you have something like this, where you have more than one term in the parentheses, we have a cubed and b to the seven, we're going to take the four, Multiply to the 3, which will be a to the 12. And then we'll take the 4, multiply to the 7 as well, where b is going to be to the 28th power. Here's our third rule. If we have a to the m all over, a to the n power, we subtract the exponents. For example, given m to the 9 all over m to the 5th power, it's going to be m to the 9, the top exponent, minus 
the 5 or the bottom exponent, which will be m to the 4th power. Here's another example. In this case, we have a number that's bigger on the bottom, but still, we'll go ahead and use that rule where it's going to be x to the second, the top number or the top exponent, minus 8, the bottom one, which will be x to the negative 6 power, where we could change this into 1 over x to the 6 power. For something like this, where the denominator has a bigger exponent, the better way, instead of taking the top minus the bottom, is to do 1 over x to the 8 minus 2, meaning we'll take the smaller number, subtract it from the bigger exponent. Notice the one on the top where it gives us x to the sixth power. This will be quicker and less hassle than to go through taking the two minus eight where you get negative six and then changing that into one over x to the sixth power. Mm -hmm.